I'm gonna let the fro out today. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hayden, what's the big idea? Last week he was telling us that he doesn't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in an afterlife or spirits or anything like that. And now this week he's telling us he lived in a haunted house. Well, there was a comment that was left on the last video that caught my eye. Unfortunately, the person who commented that comment deleted it. But fortunately, the comment still shows up in my notifications. Now, there is a topic I want to cover when it comes to commenting on my videos, but I'll talk about that at the end of this video. Now, this comment caught my eye for one particular reason, and that was at the end of the comment. They said, let's see how that gets them. To me, I assume they mean that if I were to stay in a haunted house, that I would see something or something would get me or I would have a different view on ghosts. The problem is, and you did read the title right, I lived in a haunted house once. Do I believe ghosts exist? No, but I technically, by the standards I've seen people hold uh, haunted houses to, I lived in one. Um, now this story isn't my story, it's my brother's story. And this is my proof that I did live in a haunted house. I've gone ahead and drawn on this whiteboard. So you have a visual artistic guide. I don't know, it's up to you to believe the story or not. You're gonna have to take my word for it that this did happen. But anyway, let me get into the story. So this is the house. It's a two bedroom house. We lived in it about a decade ago. At the time, it was just me, my brother Huddy, my sister Raywin, my mum, my dad, and my sisters, at the time, two children. If you're wondering how the logistics of that goes, my parents slept in a shed located outside. Now, I wasn't there when the ghostly activities went down. So you're probably wondering, how do I know about this? Well, on that day, I had returned home from school. My mum and my dad were home with my brother and sister. And you could just tell the vibe was off, if that makes sense. I saw my brother, who told me he had seen a ghost. Or that he thinks he saw a ghost. So that day, my parents were gone. I was gone. The children were gone. I was at school. The children were at school. And my parents were out for the day. The only two people inside the house on that day was my brother and my sister. Now my brother and my sister smoke weed. The devil's lettuce, you could call it. That day, my brother decided that he was gonna go smoke some. So this room right here was me and my brother's room. My brother had a bed on this side of the, the room and I had a single bed in this corner. Now this room here was my sister's room that she shared with her kids. This room here is the living room and this room here was the dining room slash kitchen. So that day, because my brother wanted to smoke some weed, he came out of the room, through the lounge, and decided to stop by my sister's room so he could ask her if she too wanted to smoke. Now, the, the place they would normally smoke is either the shed outside, or if no one was home, they would smoke here. We had a long form, like a long chair. I, I don't know what you would call it. It's the type of chair you'd see at a marae. But that used to sit right outside our front door here. So my brother came out and stopped at my sister's door. And my brother swears to this day, I have talked to him at multiple points ever since this day about this event. He swears that he came out, stopped at the door, looked in, and saw my sister sitting on her bed in the corner here. But her back was facing toward him. He was looking from here into the doorway and her back was facing him. This is him saying this. He said, clear as day, he saw my sister sitting there and he said, Raywin, do you want to smoke? And at the time, because my sister's really moody, she gets into mood sometimes. So a lot of times she gets angry and she'll just ignore anyone. So my brother Huddy thought that that's what she was doing. She, he thought she was in a mood. And so while standing at the door after asking and waiting for two seconds, he said, well, fuck you then and kept walking towards the front door. He told me he just planned to smoke by himself and didn't care that Raven was in a mood. But when he got to the front door, he opened it up and to his surprise, he saw Raven right here on the corner of the chair, smoking a cigarette. Now Raven gave me her point of view as well. She told me that when she saw Huddy open the door, Huddy looked at her, looked back towards the room and then looked at her again. Now the reason I say this is a uh, quote-unquote haunted house is because every haunted house I've seen on TV or heard talked about it's always haunted because of the paranormal events that have been witnessed there 
So that's why I say I lived in a haunted house because this event did happen and it's also not the only paranormal event reported at that home. My sister for the most part believes she's seen plenty of spirits. She's, she's a 100% believer in paranormal spirits, afterlife, stuff like that. She says she sees stuff all the time. Uh, she's the one who's seen most of the things that have happened at that house. And that brings me to the point of that comment. And it, it was a good comment because it gave me the idea for this video. And that's, did anything get me? No. Not once did I ever see or feel any paranormal event in that house. And before anyone brings up, oh, well, you should have stayed there by yourself or stuff like that. There were plenty of times I've stayed in that house by myself at night time, day time, and absolutely nothing happened. I never saw or felt anything paranormal, spiritual, or anything like that. And so I just don't understand when it comes from the viewpoint of some people why they would say, well, go to a real haunted house, go to an actual haunted place. Um, I did reply to that comment and I asked, well, what is an actual haunted place? And that person replied back, well, a real haunted house or a scary cemetery, which is not really what I was looking for. But when she said the second part in that reply, maybe a scary cemetery, it made me laugh because this particular house, the house, from our front door, if you were to walk down here, and off this way you'd get to the front gate and when you'd get to the front gate you'd walk out and up this way I couldn't draw it on my whiteboard but up this way is a long driveway it's our driveway but it connects on to a road and if you follow that road up the hill and turn left you would come to our local cemetery <laughs> yeah that's right not only did I live in a haunted house but I technically lived on a cemetery as well. It was quite a bit up from the hill from us, but I mean, every single stereotype was covered on this house. Ghost sightings, ghost stories, apparitions, and a scary cemetery. The only problem is nothing got me. Like I said, I've never seen anything happen in that house, to that house, to me. And to this day, I honestly believe my brother did not see a ghost. Do I believe he thinks he's seen something? Of course. Um, but I saw nothing. Not a single thing happened to me. Not a single paranormal event happened while I was around. Hey, maybe they're scared of me. Who knows? I don't know. But I just figured I'd share the story of when I lived in a haunted house. Now, for anyone wondering, my brother did describe the uh, woman that was sitting on the, on the corner of the bed here. He said that he clearly saw her hair was frizzy and she was wearing a white gown and at the time that he looked at her he thought it was my sister wearing some pajamas <clears throat> because it was pretty early in the day don't quote me on this but I think it was around 10 o'clock uh, the kids had already left for school like I said and I used to catch the bus at around 5 15 so I was long gone I hope I'm telling the story right I'm, I'm doing it off of memory and I didn't I didn't consult my sister or brother about this story. Maybe I got a few things wrong, but the bulk of the story is there. He was walking past my sister's room. He saw what he thought was my sister and in his own words was clear as a day, as clear as he sees me and you today. He said he saw a girl sitting on the corner of my sister's bed. Other than that, about the comment that got me to make this video, like I said, they deleted it. And it's not the only comment that got deleted. And I just want to talk for a quick second about comments on my videos. All of these videos are public. Um, I've talked pretty bad about religion, about God, and about the way I view spirits and the afterlife. And it's not to offend people. It's to, it's to show 100% authenticity. I could have easily got on here and lied my ass off and told you guys I believe in God, I believe in spirits, I saw a ghost. I could have done all that. But that would be fake. I didn't come on this platform to fake anything. And by doing this, I know very well that people can disagree with me. My problem is, if you're going to disagree with me, do not delete your comment. For any reason, if you feel you're wrong, leave it there anyway. It's fine. All of my videos are going to be up here for life, if I can help it. I have no problem with being wrong. If I'm ever wrong one day and someone ever clearly corrects me on anything, I will not delete any video. I'll keep it up there because I, 
for anyone who deleted their comment, I'm sorry, but it's really fake to me. If you're going to put a comment up disagreeing with me, then stand on it. Stand 10 toes on your disagreement. Because I love you guys' comments. And I do not mind if you disagree with me. That's fine. I am in no position to tell you how to think or what you think. I'm going to tell you how I feel and think. And you're more than welcome to tell me how you feel and think. Don't ever think you... Even if someone in the comments disagree, disagrees with you, don't delete your comments. Stand 10 toes. Stand on that shit. So yeah, I don't know... Uh, I, in my comments, it, when I upload a video, it asks me how I want to sort out the comments. I always put allow all comments. Now, I will <laughs> delete your comment if you say something crazy. If you, We all know what something really bad would be if you say anything like that i will delete it but in terms of your feelings if you disagree with me disagree with me but do not delete your comments stand 10 toes behind it because i'll stand 10 toes behind whatever i say so so yeah i just thought i'd share this story you did read the <laughs> title right i lived in a haunted house and absolutely nothing happened to me so thanks for watching and comment and don't delete your comment Pussy? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I just caught a couple million, had to flip that 20k. Hundred thousand without speaking, I mean, what more can I say? Got my rollie on the run, I ain't talking body spray. Try to treat me like a bitch, but that ain't in my DNA. She say, oh, you rich, rich. I can never trust a daddy or a tweak, bitch. I'ma catch another body, then we even. I just bought a Maserati for the weekend.